dark matter via action portal and its implications for direct search and deep dark experiment. Okay, so thanks for the introduction. So my name is Shrikar from Oak University. And today my talk is based on this alpha number and uh, my correlation is uh, Isam at the University of the University student. So just uh, let me direct the start from the hidden mole dark matter. So actually, the hidden mole pore is a very good uh, dark matter candidate, and uh, there are basically two main reasons. So the first reason is that uh, it, is, it is an uh, incredible uh, cosmological object uh, in the early universe. If the universe saw, uh, experienced a uh, phase transition in the hidden sector. And uh, its, st its stability is ensured uh, by its topological uh, nature. So now the, end, the question is, uh, can we detect the uh, hidden more of dark matter? And uh, in the minimum step up, the answer is no. So one has to introduce some couplings between the uh, hidden sector to the uh, visible, uh, visible sector, namely the standard sector. And then basically, uh, there are three uh, possible ways to connect the hidden sector to the uh, cinema sector. The first one is the uh, so-called Higgs portal. However, in this case, the expected uh, uh, scattering intersection is too small. Uh, uh, and uh, it's analyzed by uh, others. And then the second way is the so-called vector portal, or kinetic missing. And uh, however, uh, in this case, uh, the, the constraint from the, I mean, there are so many constraints constraint, uh, from many observations and uh, experience. And also, in, 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 uh, in our uh, model, I will show later, uh, the, the predict uh, the next is extremely, extremely small. So today, uh, in my talk, I, I focus on the third possibility that the uh, visible uh, sector in the uh, these receptors are connected by this action portal, and, uh, which is uh, pointed out by these authors uh, roughly 20 years ago. However, in, in their study, they, just, they assume that the uh, action is masses. So basically, we just generalize that and analyze to the case where the uh, action uh, is uh, massive. So here, uh, in our side, we take the so-called Bell-Cloud monopole as an example. So it was, uh, it, it is known that the, uh, the monopole can rise when the nonbular gauge symmetry is spun is broken uh, via this mechanism. So that, uh, what they consider is uh, this model. So they basically introduce this SU2 gauge uh, hidden uh, symmetry and press this uh, ISO vector scalar, which has three components, L1, L3, L3, and this is the Lagrangian. This, thing, this model, and here this uh, E edge is the hidden edge coupling, and uh, this E edge is the value of the scalar field. So as usual, you can uh, expand this scalar field around the map, and here we choose the scalar component that delivers the, the, the vacuum functionality, and then this uh, SP2K symmetry is spread down to this uh, U1 hidden K symmetry. And, uh, Especially because in, 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 this, in, because in this model, uh, uh, they introduce this uh, ISO vector scalar. So actually, you, you can, if, I mean, under this final uh, energy configuration, you can have, uh, I mean, this model, this model is allowed to have a uh, certain solution and uh, which identify with the model. So in this table, uh, this table is the wide uh, spectrum uh, in this model. And uh, of course, we have this uh, hidden photon. Which is massless and has no uh, electric charge and many charges. And we have uh, this ISO, back, uh, ISO scalar, which is massive. And uh, also, I also have this uh, uh, hidden gauge boson. And uh, again, uh, we have a monopole, also an NN monopole. And uh, if you, uh, you know, when you look at this table, you may wonder why this uh, why monopole also has also has electric charge. And uh, this is so uh, this is due to the so-called weighted effect I will introduce in the next page. And here this the upper edge is the hidden structure constant. 
So why is the return effect? So uh, because now we have basically even uh, the U1 gauge symmetry, so actually we can write down this uh, theta term another uh, to using this theta term. And actually you can rely on this theta term uh, this form. And however, this starter, this starter usually has no physical effect because we can rewrite this theta term into a dual derivative, which is nothing but the momentum conservation. However, uh, 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 this theta term has physical effect if there's a monopole. So actually, it's, it's easy. You can uh, from this uh, from this equation uh, notion, you can uh, write the hidden max equation like this one. And if there's a theta term and monopole, then you can find that actually this monopole also has uh, also can produce the electric field and then you become the diode. So diode is the kind of particle which uh, possesses both electric and electric charges. And this uh, this is an electric charge of the monopole. So and then if you look at it, if you look at this expression, uh, you can uh, already understand that this certain I mean this relation is also true if theta is uh, is a is a field. Because data will be more people more this theta uh, constant to the action. So this is a good fact. So this explain uh, explain the reason why the normal also has an uh, electric charge. And uh, here I want to talk, uh, talk about some of the picture point in our study. And uh, so this is a uh, uh, plot uh, done by the, these people. So the, the vertical axis is the upper edge, and the x axis is the back. So for example, here this uh, this uh, red point corresponds to the case where the moral contribute to uh, seventy five percent of the total energy uh, density. Because actually in this model, uh, in this model, uh, the gauge boson, hidden gauge boson, can also be a dark candidate. So anyway, so this here in our study we choose the, this red point as, a, as our benchmark point for the analysis. So where this half edge is around 0.7 and the moral mass is around two hundred dB. So, so here I just want to uh, show you what we did. So actually our, our, our idea is very concrete. What we want to do is to calculate the static perception between the hidden mortal dark matter and the nuclear. And again, here we introduce the action as a mediator. So the interaction between action for the mortal is, is, is not so easy, which basically we just introduce the interaction and the, and the, the coupling is proper to the inverse uh, the constant, which associates with the new one global uh, symmetry, the breaking of the U1 global symmetry. And uh, the, so the difficult thing is that because it's very difficult to write down the interaction vertex between the morpho and the, the action. So in, in order to calculate this interaction, we have to use the uh, uh, return effect, which I introduced in various pages. And then, so after uh, 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 we, we get this coupling, we can uh, evaluate the perception and compare to the, some uh, direct search experiments. And because in here, because we introduce actions, we also consider some constraint uh, from feedback experiments. Because basically, this experiment is looking for some uh, light particles. So this is uh, the Lagrangian for the action photo coupling. So, so the, the, the most important term is this is last term. So, and uh, from uh, this uh, Lagrangian, we can basically derive the equation motion of action, like this one. And here we impose the boundary condition like this one. And then, and then the reason we impose this condition is because we want the total energy of this uh, actual Morgan system to be finite. And again, here I run the equation motion. And the, the actually, actually, this equation motion cannot be solved uh, analytically. So then we can uh, solve this uh, synthetically, like this one here. It's quite complicated. However, but then we don't have to find this one. So here is our. Uh, Numerical result. So, but, uh, as you can see, this uh, dash line is agree with the. Uh, I mean, the, I mean the, our analytical solution is uh, is very uh, is agree with the integral uh, equation. So again, uh, so 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 the, the, the so x axis is the distance away from the morpho. So morpho is located here, and the, so that's the and here again because we put in uh, impose a bound condition uh, like this. So, uh, so that's why we have, we have this up here. And uh, 
so the reason we post this uh, bounded condition is because you can see so if if r according to literal then the, the, the any density will uh, diverge. So that that means you have to impose the theta of r to be zero uh, uh, so the bounded condition. So then, then uh, we just uh, write down this uh, interaction between the action and the neutron. And uh, from this Hamiltonian, you can uh, write down the uh, scale amplitude of the normal organic spectrum. And as, as you can see here, so here you have to integrate the, the, the action profile, as I, as I showed in the previous pages. And then you just do a calculation. So here, here's, uh, here's our result. So, so once you, you fix the, the uh, upper edge and some uh, so the theta zero, you can constrain uh, the, the actual mass and also the, the, the constant. So here's our result. Uh, this uh, I, I impose the constraint from the direct trajectory experience. Uh, and here we will, I, I show you to uh, the benchmark point. So again, uh, this uh, y-axis is the constant and the, the uh, x-axis is the actual mass. So, it's not so plain, but anyway, so this, this red region is already created too by some experiment like Hope's fault. And uh, this blue dash is uh, some uh, constraint uh, and it's a, it's, a, it's a future experiment. Uh, people found it. So before, uh, like, uh, before I talk about the constraint from the blue dash experiment, let me talk uh, this, this, discuss the actual the channel in this model. Because uh, in our model we can introduce uh, this uh, uh, actual photon uh, coupling, and actually this uh, uh, the action can, can get into the hidden photon like this. And uh, we also assume that the car action, uh, the car like coupling for action like this. So the action can also be get into the standard fermion and the usual photon. So this is the action the channel without hidden photon. So as, uh, as you can see, in the low mass region, the actual many depend into the uh, electron pair and the photon pair. And in the middle mass region, it many depend into the, the muon. And also in the high mass region, it many depend into the So once you introduce the hidden photon, as you can see from this plot, so the, in the, uh, in the medium, in the middle range, in the high mass region, the, 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 uh, the actual uh, still many depend into the uh, muon and the tone. However, in the low mass region, the actual so, so this is a simple picture for the beam down experiment. So, so basically, beam for the uh, uh, basically just prepare the photon beam and the, the, and the, and the, the target. And the, the target, uh, there's a beam down, and so we will produce some uh, some hydrogen or pion, and the pion will uh, decay into some light particles, like some electronic action. The action may decay. Uh, before arriving at the detector, or in the impact detector, or uh, after the uh, beginning uh, detector. And because uh, in our model, the action can decay into a hidden photon. So we can expand the, 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 uh, the branch ratio of the action decay into the, the visa particle and the changes. So, so this is our uh, result. So as you can see, so the, so for the upper edge, the, 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 the case for us, we want to, uh, I mean, the, the place, uh, there's no hidden photon. And then once you turn on the upper edge, you see the, the, the basically the, the primary space uh, uh, shrink like this. So here is our combined result from the direct survey experience and the inline experience. So as you can see uh, around uh, here, the, the, the MA around uh, 10 MV and the FA around 10 to 5 GV. And also the, the MA around 100 MV and the FA around 10 to 4 GV uh, uh, are the regions where the uh, both uh, the experiment and the research experiment can be um, I can pro prop this model. Because we also consider some uh, uh, hard constraints from the meson decay and the beacon constraint. So let me summary my talk today. Uh, so we have studied the hidden Morpho via the action photo. Then we compute the uh, steam dependent section of the hidden uh, scaling of the nuclear and compare with the experiments. And we have found two parameter space where the both more the hidden mobile and action uh, are within the range uh, are within the range of the RSA experiments and the pin experiments. So 
Thank you so much. Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, in, in, yeah, in our rubber estimates are around 0.5 or 0.6. And those are 0.5. Uh, 0.5? Yeah. Only, considering only a show Sorry? Uh, yeah, because uh, in our model, the action, because the action can yeah. depend to hit the photon, so it will contribute to the contribution. When we consider the Higgs photon, it was about uh, 10 photon. Higgs photon? Uh, in, in our model, I think. Ah, okay. Yeah. I see. Why, why do you only consider speed dependent in your page 13? You only show also the p codes. 13. Why don't you consider speed dependent? Because, that's the reason, because you see that it's perceptual, it's dependent on it. So you, usually it's a uh, version of the same time. So in the same study, you, you, you didn't consider the constraint from uh, supernova cooling, but you just start oh, okay. So that okay, so that depends on if you just take this data constraint seriously. But I think the this you know yeah you you are yeah, right, but the, if you consider the supernova cooling, actually uh, this region may be extremely okay, so the actual mass is around uh, 10 AP also. However, we still have another, uh, another prime space where the action is hard to reduce the uh, supernova. Yeah. Okay, so you are right. So. Any last question? If not last time.